your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. Good morning. The time now is 644. And Corey, it's going to be a pretty warm Veterans Day tomorrow. It is. And without precipitation and more notably without any sort of precipitation lingering on the ground, as it happens sometimes around Eastern Iowa. So our weather-wise question deals with that. How many times since 1895 have has there been snow on the ground for Veterans Day in Waterloo? Just picked one of the cities in eastern Iowa. Has it never happened? Eight times, 17 times, or 35 times? Remember, this is about 130 years of history. So how many out of those have had some snow on the ground? At least a trace. No snow on the ground from our Fayette City Cam, but they're one of the locations that is seeing clouds overhead at this point. A pretty gray sky to start off the day. But as a result, they're also one of the warmer spots on the thermometer. 32 degrees as a temperature reading at this hour as the clouds allowed things to stop cooling off. Where it stayed clear in Cedar Rapids, down to 26. Wind chills, though, pretty much uniformly in the low to mid-20s with a few dipping into the upper teens so far this morning. So a chilly start, no doubt, uh, even as these clouds continue to move just a little bit farther south, now just crossing south into this tier of counties along the Highway 30 corridor, likely spreading a little bit farther southeast as we go through the day. Otherwise, though, we're not seeing precipitation with them. We're not seeing strong winds today. Winds will actually be lighter than yesterday in most cases, so it will be an okay fall day, but perhaps a bit gloomy for some, especially in our northern counties. So you see that fill in here on Pinpoint Futurecast, actually running a bit behind in terms of how much cloud cover we've seen so far, but notice that it takes it about as far south as Highway 30 and then doesn't make a lot more progress from there. We'll have to watch and see how far it goes, but those that see the clouds move in will see their temperatures held back just a little bit more. For the sunny area, things will warm up close to normal for this time of year and so it's a bit of a split where the clouds take place. Now tonight we'll keep it mostly clear for most of the night but then more clouds move in during the day on Saturday. Despite that with enough sunshine early on and a little bit of a southerly breeze we will likely wind up a little bit warmer than today. Today's temperatures vary coldest in the northeast with 41 in Decora, 44 in Dubuque. It'll be a slow climb to get there toward the south, closer to 50 where the sunshine hangs on. Winds out of the northwest between about 5 to 15, again, likely keeping us closer to the low to mid 40s in terms of wind chill. For your Veterans Day planner for those early day observances outdoors, if you do have some of those going on, 30s will be common by mid morning, some 20s to start off the day in your sunrise, but back to the upper 40s to low 50s by the time we get toward the afternoon. And that's just the start of a warming trend that continues into next week. It first starts slowly, but then a bigger jump between Saturday and Sunday. Winds will stay fairly uh, blustery at times on Sunday out of the southwest between about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Into next week is when we touch the 60s again in many locations, which for this time of year, we see a handful of days in the 60s every November, but this is quite a few in a row. Something to enjoy if you like the warmer weather. Certainly something to look forward to, but precipitation lacking. Just a very slim chance of an isolated shower tomorrow evening. How many times since 1895 has there been snow on the ground for Veterans Day in Waterloo? Your weather-wise question today. I think C-17. Okay. Yeah, these seem kind of low for what I was thinking. I think I'll go D-35. Okay, and uh, we got a control room guess from uh, Daniel at B for H. The answer is C-17, which is not that many. I agree. I kind of thought it might be a little bit higher, uh, but that runs down to about, what, a little bit over 10% of the days, and so... It's not that common. So this year, we're in line with that. Now, certainly, it can be colder. It can be rainier. All the sorts of weather conditions can take place this time of year. But given that, pretty decent tomorrow. Yeah, so it'd be more unusual to actually see snow tomorrow. As it turns out, to have it on the ground, at least, mm -hmm. at the very least. And the, the most recent time, though, was fairly recent. 2019, we had three inches of snow on the ground in Waterloo. Oh, wow. Thanks, Corey. Yep.